The overall goal of these behavioral tasks is to allow researchers to assay drug-related behaviors such as reward and sensitization. These methods can help answer key questions in the drug addiction field, such as which molecules or pathways contribute to drug-induced plasticity. The main advantage of these techniques is that they are high throughput and can be conducted using either homemade or purchased equipment. When feasible, perform condition place preference assays using different drug doses. This approach can uncover differences resulting from altered drug sensitivity and provide additional confidence in your findings. This experiment makes use of three-chambered CPP boxes equipped with photo beams for automated data collection. Have four or more on hand. This apparatus has two large chambers, A and B, into which mice can be introduced through a lid. Within each chamber is a dimmable light source. The A and B chambers are made visually distinct, for example, white versus black and also tactilely distinct, such as with different flooring textures. Between the two large chambers is a smaller interconnecting neutral chamber, or C, which is accessible by sliding doors. For further details on the CPP boxes, including important information on how to set up a balanced design, consult the text protocol. For these experiments,